Luna, you're the weirdest cat in the world. Say good morning, internet. I'm adulting like an awesome person. Cereal with chocolate milk or chocolate almond milk. If you've never used chocolate milk or chocolate almond milk or chocolate whatever the heck, your pea milk, whatever you guys do it, it's a game changer. Look at my teeth, it's all off. Holy crap, I have a brand new smile. I'm kind of like a very bipolar one. Like, I think all in all, my teeth turned out really, really good. I'm very satisfied with the results. I am officially done. I'm done, I am finally done. So we're talking to our friend Heather over here and I needed a backup person. Oh, no. Okay, you ready for this Heather? What did one tectonic okay. plate say to the other when it bumped into each other? I don't know what. Sorry, my fault. Oh my <laughs> Oh my god. god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Oh, it's so good. I Look at this, the same Pete Rock. Actually, you wanna stick your hand in and find yeah, out? Stick your hand in there. I'm I don't wanna find hand out. In some random hole. Seems like a very. <laughs> <laughs> It is the St. Pete Rock. We gotta go put it somewhere else. No, we gotta go hide it. Where should we put I it? I have an idea. I can't bend over. <laughs> you got this, babe. Actually, here, I'll, I'll put it back there. That's a good spot for it. because you can see it, but you can't, you know? Yeah, that's good. So somebody can actually come find it. <laughs> yeah, baby, when you watch this later, that's your future mom. Charles and I were kind of like running around getting a lot of errands done and I always get sucked into, I don't know, I'll be on YouTube or Instagram or anything of that sort. And I came across this video and it was about this woman who, she had just had her second baby. She was in a major store. She ha and so she was in the store with her two year old son and like her two month old baby. And she was tired, she was sleep deprived, she was just really struggling. And this woman came around the corner and saw that she was struggling. She said, here, I'll take your two year old son and we can go get whatever you need to get done around the store. I'll walk with you the whole time. I'll keep him entertained and we'll, you can get your stuff done. So this woman walked with her and they walked around for 45 minutes so that this woman could get her, her things done that she needed to get done and she was just so appreciative of her. So she ended up sharing this photo and it went viral and yada yada yada. The woman, they ended up finding her and they did like an interview with her and basically they, you know, asked like why she did it and she's just like, you know, I'm a mom and it's really hard and it's really scary sometimes because the things that you go through and all the things that you have to get done in the day just seem so much more tense and so much more so scary more, yeah. and so you know and she's like I just saw that she was struggling and I've been there and I just wanted help and anyways the whole point of me saying this was I started talking to Char after I actually watched that video Sorry, and, and there you are lucky for you there we go she like brought up valuable points like how stressful it can be to be parents but how scary it can be to be parents even the most minuscule and minor thing can be hard and really scary. It's very daunting. Yeah. And then we started thinking about things that we would do or we were preparing ourselves, mm -hmm. and we just kept going back and forth and what were some of the things that you well, were we were gonna... talking we were talking about like because I think that whenever you get pregnant like it's so exciting and everybody's like oh yeah I can't wait to do this and I can't wait to dress my baby like that and I can't wait to take my baby to this place and all these wonderful things like the, the beautiful sides of pregnancy the fun and part. the beautiful sides of parenting like a lot of people don't really talk about scary sides yeah, and so we exactly. were trying to discuss like what things we were scared about in regards to having a baby Hi, <laughs> you're right it's like Marley Hello, Birch. I was trying to get him to honestly tell me, like, what are you scared of? What am I personally scared of? And becoming a parent, or right now at this moment. I mean, we've done a bunch of these videos, but I, I kind of feel like in like a matter of days, it's what like, we're yeah, what we're having. And, and every day is new. Every day is like a new situation. Like Ali's feeling a little bit different. We're kind of like figuring things out, like insurance wise, and just starting that whole process. Growing up. Growing up. We're already growing. Schools, so we trying to figure out like schools up. already, even though schools are way down the thing. Things started kicking in when I started realizing, you know, like with the band and leaving some for long periods of time. I think my main thing that I'm really concerned about missing out on things and just kind of not being around, like if there's tours mm -hmm. and things like that. I started getting a little bit, uh, kind of messing with my my head a little bit. And mm -hmm. then Ali was having all these other concerns as well. And then I feel like one of the most recurring things that I've heard is there is no real way to parent. There's not necessarily anyone holding your hand, walking you through every aspect of parenting. I don't know. I just started thinking about all these crazy things that could happen. Now, I started thinking about the things that people don't necessarily verbalize a lot. So start forgetting with the thing, little guy or girl inside you. 
I think right now I'm always afraid of like, am I giving the baby everything the baby needs right now? Like even though my doctor always tells me like, you're fine, you're fine. Like for instance, like we were at that NASCAR thing, the other thing day, yeah. and it was a really long day and I was on my feet all day. And you know, they say that once you get pregnant, you have to be like more responsible with your, your downtime and more responsible with take, doing certain things. And you know, you're not just thinking about yourself anymore. So I get concerned sometimes or scared, I should say. not necessarily scared, but more concerned. Like, am I resting my body enough? Am getting I enough am I getting enough nutrients? It was such a long day, and so I get concerned that maybe I'm not being more aware of what I should be focusing on right now in my pregnancy. Yeah, when we came home, she's like, "Can I have another?" Oh, what? A, bird shit on you. a bird just pooped on me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? A bird just pooped on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. That is the grossest <laughs> thing I've ever. <laughs> That's <f> gross. <laughs> ah. All right, back to our sentimental thing now. I guess I gotta get used to poop on me, huh? Okay, that is number two in the vlogs. I'm glad Giggles over here liked it. That was a brown one. That was. I think you spit on me too from laughing. <laughs> I actually want to rewatch that clip because I feel like both of our faces were like. You can't uh, stage I think that I kind just of stuff. Frighten the children over at the park. So, I completely lost my I, train of thought. I, I, talking about like we're trying to act serious now for a second. We're trying to, I'm trying to, but that was funny. <laughs> funny as bleep. But I mean, at this point in my life right now, with this whole like being a mother, because that's crazy to think about. But I am like we're already You're parents. Even a mom, yeah. Like we're already parents. Yeah, you know? technically. And so it's like I think about like even when am I doing all the right things that I need to do for the baby at this point? And like even like if him and I are stressed out, I'm like oh, we can't be stressed out, Charles, because. My stress goes off on you, which in turn makes you stress, which will make, you know, it just like, it's not that like I'm not gonna be a good parent, because I know that everyone messes up, everyone makes mistakes, everybody does stupid things, and everybody's like, oh god, I wish I didn't do that. And I know it's so normal, and I probably sound absolutely ridiculous. So, I don't know, today, there's a lot of birds coming, I, I apologize. I'm just getting a little nervous now. All these birds are coming. I'm glad it was on camera at least. <laughs> Life can't get any heavier than it already All right, is. yeah. <laughs> Allie was like, do you want to do private school or public school? Everything that's been going on with schools and violence are hitting us. I mean, that's years down the road, obviously, but is it really? We're trying to plan for all that kind of stuff way you in advance. Plan. You can't plan it. I started freaking myself out. I mean, when I saw we it on TV. We think about all the exciting stuff we haven't been thinking Yeah, exactly. About, like... When I was growing up, I never even worried about mm -hmm. that kind of stuff, but now that's becoming a situation so now that has been like on my mind i think it's totally normal to like worry about your child and like are they gonna get this or are they gonna experience that or what if this happens like is it gonna do this to them you know today i don't know why that video i think it was the fact that she was saying like it doesn't have to be like something life-threatening for it to be scary so i'm gonna play a game with you i'm gonna ask you some things actually you know what i need to move my i gotta move my butt over here because my, my right arm was getting a little bit more tired what would be some things that oh hey come here Afton what would be some things that you're like really scared about like that you would think of right now like if I were to say what are you scared about as silly as like the baby sleeping but I feel like a lot of the things that we're saying are things that everybody goes through but it is something that you do think about at this point but I am a little freaked out like when the baby first comes home and the baby sleeps like is the baby sleeping too long is the baby not sleeping enough is the baby you know, did I put that swaddle on too tight? Did I not yeah, put it on tight Yeah, the mattress enough? is it firm enough yeah. or not too firm? Yeah. You were talking about, which was a lot of people don't like to talk about, was postpartum. I from like some of the people that I know, they found it to be, for some reason they were embarrassed by it or they felt like people thought that they were incapable mothers. You're fabricating it. Did you feel like it, it had affected your baby? And you know, of course they always say like, yes, it, I, <laughs> I did think it like- Is that the bird who did yeah. it? <laughs> They didn't think it affected their baby, but it affected them enough to where it made me so sad to think about that they went through those moments. The first time I'm gonna be in charge, Allie be won't alone be there. With the baby? Yeah, me being alone with the baby and not having these things. You'll be good. Well, that, that, not I know. having my boobs? No, th yeah, those are hard not to go Is with. Is that what you were saying? You I'm trying to say. Like, they're probably, I would probably pump if I saw, if I have the option to breastfeed. But what I'm, about the baby doesn't want to do it that way? Then I have to figure that out. You'll figure it do out. Do I do it to me? It's <laughs> like, like all these other things that we're saying that we're scared of. Like, we'll figure it out. We That's why that. this whole video is about. It's just us 
kind of being honest yeah. with that. Well, I think you guys always see a side of us that are just like really, like we were kind of nervous to even talk about like our, our fears of parenting. We don't want people to judge, but I know that nobody's gonna judge. No, because they're probably, everyone watching this video, it's like, hey, either been has it. been through it or knows somebody through it. Well, what are you anxious about? Like for I'm me, anxious about the whole first year. <laughs> I really am. Thing. I'm very anxious about the whole first year because I know there's so many things that you have to adjust too and you don't know what you're doing because even if you babysit children it's not your baby i'm excited please don't get me wrong oh, super excited but i'm just it's nervous. the unknown it's what it is it's the unknowing i have a lot of friends who've had the situation where your baby chokes we are taking cpr classes because i freaked myself out i didn't even think about that kind of stuff obviously it happens to anybody but obviously mm -hmm. a baby's learning how to chew i never even put two and two together that actually could be a thing and then i started freaking out again i was actually i'm not worried about because i think it's gonna be fine but another thing that oh, sorry. now that's what i'm fearful of i'm curious to see how the dogs will react and the cats I don't feel like are gonna care they're gonna do their own cat thing but I think Zoe is going to be the uh, best out of all of them I think that Marley won't care I think Zoe will be great I think Diesel because I've seen He'll Diesel with I've seen Diesel with Lila and, I, and Diesel with Lila is very like excited gentle. yeah well, gentle he's excited. Excited. yeah yeah he's excited and he doesn't jump but he like wants to kiss all the time and I think that he doesn't quite understand so he's he's overly curious all right so we're gonna we're gonna take all the negativity and scariness that's kind of like fearful of us let's bring it back so we can oh, end I'm it on a so uh, many things I'm so many cool things to obviously take the baby on adventures I'm so excited traveling. to watch the baby grow and like develop the baby's own personality. A baby turning into a human. Yeah, would be kind of cool. I'm excited for the baby to walk for the first time and to talk for the first time. I want to know what the first word's going to be. I'm very excited about it. It's going to be data. I'm excited to. I already like, got the book. Everything is data. I'm just excited. I'm just excited about all of it. I mean, my excitement way exceeds the fears, the natural fears. And the names, the names we've been coming up with are so exciting too. I'm excited to get the nursery. I'm excited to find out what we're having. I'm excited. Oh, I got a couple days for that. I'm excited <sighs> to like. I don't know. There's like a the lot clothes. of things. Really do you think when our baby has her first haircut that they're going to be scared or do you think they're going to be I don't okay? know. I have no idea. If it's anything like me, it's probably going to be terrifying. We're going to have a lot of a lot of like little challenges. I'm excited. You know, with this pregnancy, we were talking about how we were going to discuss it online and stuff. And I kind of like the fact that we're going through all the motions with it. You know, like it's not always happy, happy, go lucky. Like we, we get to talk about both sides because... Yeah. We get to share that with you guys. You guys have shared it with us, and it's kind of exciting to know that we can do that with you, but you can also relay back to us, like, everything you feel is totally normal. You're right. Like, that's comforting for us. So we love being able to talk about this, knowing that we have you guys behind this camera. Yeah, You know, exactly. who can help us get through our crazy moments. The sun is going down, and the fact, I'm, I'm not even kidding, there's a lot of birds above us again. So um, hope you guys enjoyed this, this weird, weird rant. It was definitely... It's good for us to get off our chest, and I'm sorry. So I don't know. I hope it's not the most boring vlog cutie. in the world, but if it is, I'm so sorry. And I, you know, this feels like one of those harmonizing songs where I'm able to do something different than you. La 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 la. See you guys tomorrow. La, la, la. Have a good night. Bye guys. Bye guys.